So the HTTP method put, patch, and post serve different purposes in web development and API communication. So let's explore the distinction between these methods. So the put method is used to update or create a resource to a specific URL. When a client sends a put request, it typically includes the entire update representation of the resource in the request body. This means that if the resource already exists, the entire resource is replaced with the new data provided in the request. Put requests are item potent, meaning that sending the same put request multiple times will have the same outcome each time. The put requests are often used when you have a complete set of data to update a resource. Whereas in case of patch method is used to make partial update to an existing resource. Unlike put, patch allows you to send only changes or updates that needs to be applied to the resource rather than sending the entire resource. This will be useful when you want to avoid overwriting the existing data or when dealing with large resources. Patch requests are also item potent, meaning that sending the same patch request multiple times should have the same effect each time. So now we are going to change our request type to patch and uh, with patch we will use our loopback and based on the loopback that we will add loopback 100 and we will add a secondary ip address to that so currently we have in loopback 100 only one ip address now what we can do is we will add loopback 100 a secondary ip address so now when we check that loopback 100 is now will be having two ip addresses which is primary and secondary so the loopback 100 with two ip addresses primary and secondary will be updated so the secondary address 10.202.1.1 the primary is 10 100 100 100 so we already put the secondary address and the secondary ip address up to the loopback 100 using the patch method and then we have seen that we got a uh, status code of 204 so let's familiarize with the put api request what put api request will do when we change the primary ip address of loopback 100 so now we are going to change the primary ip address and we'll change the method to put we will send so now the, this is the current one and then once we send we'll see the status code 204 no content and then when we retrieve the information of loopback 100 now you'll see that there is no secondary ip address so only the primary IP address will be there. One more thing we need to see that if we update the description now, so using the put method, we'll get the information now and you'll see that the description is being changed, the IP address. So this is what it is doing an overwrite operation. So overwrite of the entire configuration it is doing. So again, we can change the description using like uh, filtering out the, uh, the loopback 100 slash description and then we can change the loopback description here as loopback 100, which is basically created using a put method. Once we send that, explicitly this configuration is being changed now. And when we verify that with the get, so the entire configuration for loopback 100 will be remain same, only the loopback is being changed. What it does is it overwrite the entire configuration. This is the difference between a put and a patch. So in case of put, overriding the entire configuration patch just merging the configuration the change in this let's think about a put and a post what is the difference so put method is basically being used to modify a single resource while a post method is called when you have to add a child resource so post method response can be cached but you cannot cache put method response you can use update queries in put, whereas you can use create queries in post. So in put method, the client decides that the URI resource should have. And in post method, the server decides which URI resources should have. Put works as specific while post works as an abstract. So if you send the same put request multiple times, the result will be same. But if you send the same post request multiple times 
So you will receive a different result or you will receive an error as 409. So that makes put method as an item potent, whereas the post method is not an item potent. So far we discuss about the method that is being used, get method to retrieve the configuration. To update any configuration, we will use put post and patch. For example, if you want to delete certain configuration, so I can change that method to delete and I can now delete the entire loopback configuration while sending a delete. So it will remove that particular loopback from the configuration now. So to verify that we don't have any loopback configuration anymore. So let's check in the interface configuration. If you see the interface configuration, we don't have the loopback anymore in this device. So it's been deleted. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you like, do subscribe.